Yo, what is going on, everyone? We are back with another video, and this time we're talking about why you should hit level 88 in Honkai Impact if you are still playing. Now, the reason for this is because recently, what is still going on right now, there's an event going on where you can get an art collection book from Honkai Impact, and you had to be level 81 plus to get this. However, uh, the books and like all these uh, merch things, well, this is the first time they started it for Global, I gotta say, and they, like, I never seen this event before, and it was a limited quantity. But here's the thing, it was only 12,500 bucks, but if you were level 88, it give you 50 extra bucks, which I say currency, to pretty much give you a little bonus every single week. And if you weren't level 88, then you had to do the missions just by itself, you got no bonus, so you missed out on a mission or two, then that gives other people a chance to actually beat you in terms of getting the book. So we do have an issue when it comes to hitting level 81 plus, and that comes with a breakthrough. Breakthrough essentially makes you enter endgame territory and whatever you're used to, Abyss, Quantum C, your Memorial Arena leaderboards are going to lose them because you are going against people who are max ranks, uh, max Valkyrie builds, and it's an actual competitive um, show, I guess you can say. And it's going to be a hard time if you are just getting into breakthrough territory. You're going to have no equipment, your Valkyries are going to be weak. And it's going to take a, a while to actually get up in those leaderboard ranks. So it's kind of like I said in my breakthrough video that honestly, I broke through as soon as I can and I ended up being just fine. I could go full tryhard if I wanted to, but in Abyss rank 2 or 3, I'm kind of satisfied there. Because anything above that, I just don't have the time or the patience to actually go through these battles that last a good minute. Because these bosses... They have a lot of health, so it's not worth my time to go through like three minutes and like just fights that take forever. But I ended up being perfectly fine and I think you guys can too. So I did go a little bit off track in terms of the event that we just had where you get 50 bucks for being level 88. But even then, just to be part of the event, you have to be broken through, which means level 81 plus. So if you're level, if you're, if you're going to be breaking through for just the event, you're going to be level 81 and you might as well be level 88 for those bonuses. So the earlier, the better, honestly. So the reason I'm stressing this so much is because in the first time in global history, we have physical merch rewards of in-game events. So my experience on being level 88 for, I think, over a year and a half. I don't know. I was still level 87 in my old videos, but I got to say, like, I had a good time in endgame territory. The, the abyss goes by so fast. It's only four stages. Um, you guys can check out my video. I'll leave it in the description below. But it pretty much gives you a tutorial or pretty much should I say a kind of a tour guide as to what to expect at level 81 plus once you break through. So that's my quick little rant as to why you guys should be level 88 as fast as you can in Honkai Impact 3rd. So if you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to give me a thumbs up and let me in the comments below what you guys think about these physical merch events or about breaking through in general. Let me know in, in the comments below. And in the description, we have a link to my Discord. We're talking anything Honkai, anything Genshin, and mentioning Star Rail. So as always, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a good one, guys.